good evening everybody my name is sumit so today we are going to see the metadata that how we can use the metadata okay so let's start so here in metadata we are going to define what is the definition of metadata and few interview questions which were asked in essential and in tcs and a live session how we are uh, interact means how we can call metadata from the uh, apex so let's see so basically uh, custom metadata is almost same like uh, like in a list ka custom settings so it is almost same but it has a more power as compared to the list custom settings okay so it is almost same it means it it will not the governor limits of uh, uh, dml or oh, sorry soql will not count for custom metadata as well now we will see uh, what the power it gives as compared to the list custom settings so if first thing is that so when you will transfer the data from one uh, sandbox to another sandbox maybe from a dev to qa or qa to testing environment or a production so you have to just move the structure plus data so both will go in a parallel way but that is a very big problem in custom settings for custom settings we have to uh, first move the structure and then manually through a data loader we have to move the data but in custom data we can directly push the data as well so uh, let's see a few interview questions on a metadata that what is the advantage of metadata settings custom settings so the big advantage is that we can use the validation rule page layout and there are few lookup fields like uh, means it is basically a self lookup right means one customer data can have a lookup of another customer data and few more enhanced fields are there like big list was not there in custom settings right but here it was text area is also so these all are the extended from a list custom settings so well again the what's the disadvantage of custom data setting so still uh, we must have to use the query okay so it is almost same uh, how we are using for custom objects and the tabs are not uh, available in both the, uh, the custom settings and metadata as well so let's go to the third so uh, what's the difference between custom setting and custom metadata settings so basically custom settings so it deploy the structure only means table structure only but here in custom metadata we will deploy the structure as well as the data now in custom query no need to query right automatically it is available okay point so here only you have to put the object name variable name and object name dot get uh, get where means values or get instance and you are able to fetch the data right but here we need to put the query but still it will not hit the governor limits okay so in custom setting we have a option of hierarchy custom settings where means we can fetch the data means uh, based on the user and profiles but here we don't have but we have a validation rule and the page layout so uh, limited custom fields are available right and here also a limited custom fields are available but it is extended right so it has lookup picklist text area are also available so now the question fourth is a very important question that uh, when we have to use custom setting and when we have to use custom metadata setting so as an interviewer will ask you how we can define it right so at that moment we have to check right as we know custom metadata setting is more powerful because every developer is using it but nowadays custom setting is only used for hierarchy custom settings when you have to bifurcate the data right based on the user and profile then you will go with hierarchy custom setting else uh, 
we need to use the custom metadata settings. This is the real scenario. Okay, because some more powerful. Okay, uh, now what I will do, I will go and I will show you how we can create a custom metadata and um, how we can check it. So, uh, let me go to the custom metadata. Now here you can see, I'm going to create new custom setting. So here few, uh, you will see some different things also. Uh, let me create a country only, okay. Plural name is, we need to copy and paste and make it yes. Now here you will see the visibility. So there are three type of visibility. So first one, all FX code and API can use it, right? So for that, if you want, you can do it. So only FX code and the name is space, right? So name is space means it's a kind of in a space only, right? Where we can use the third one is a managed packet, but we will use first one. Later we will see another one. So now here you will see all the default fields are coming. Those all are the standard fields actually. Okay. Now I'm going to create few custom fields. Like I told you like metadata relationship is there, right? It's a kind of a lookup that can create, right? It is a, a mostly in interview, interview ask how can you create a lookup in metadata. So you can have one metadata to another metadata. So I will go with the uh, text. Next, I will give country name. Let's say land twenty forty. Save. Now <clears throat> I'm going to the manage country. Now if you will see in manage country, if I will go to click here, so I will get a uh, three values, right? Label country name country name. Why three are there? Right. So in every case here you will get another object name. Right? Another one you will get. Let me save this one. I in I in India. Save. Okay. Clone. go here and if you'll see in manage record we have two records right correct now there is no name it's a label now I will go and I will show you how we can put a query so now if you want to put a query let me close this one I will go here, go back. Let's open this one. So we will get. So another thing is the API name of the custom metadata is will be will be MDT metadata type. Okay. So for every metadata type, object name will be this one. Okay. So in custom setting, we have underscore underscore C. Right. And for uh, ob, uh, custom object also we have underscore underscore C but for metadata we have MDT. So I will copy control V comma. I need to take label. Okay. I will execute this one. Sorry, sorry. Wrong see two records I am getting so here names are not there so here we have a label now we need the abbreviation of the object right so uh, what is the name of the object that we have we have this one okay which we have created so I'm getting this one now how we can use this in our uh, uh, apex code 
so let's see so let me remove this one uh, how can I use this one so uh, let's suppose what's uh, what is our object name so object name is this one so list like this so it will give you a better idea later we can change this one country equal to suppose select id comma But nowadays, uh, means interviewer asks most of the questions on metadata, so you should know, right? So I will do uh, system dot debug here and c n t dot. What do you want, right? Let's say label comma space. So it will return two records to me, India and US, because we have not put any filter here. So let's execute in. So I will debug this one. So I am getting US registered state and I in India. So this is all about a custom setting. Okay. So if you want this PPT, let me know. I will share you this PPT. Just comment me and kindly subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much